Let's update some more princesses. I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. It is day three of Vlogmas and we have updated Rapunzel, we have updated my Little Mermaid collection, so let's update some more princesses. There's a lot more princesses that we have to update and I have done a princesses collection update video in the past before that will be linked up above and that was basically all the princesses except for Rapunzel and Ariel. All the rest, all the other 10, plus Anna and Elsa. So that was a lot and I've gotten a lot more things for all of the princesses so I'm instead going to split it up a little bit. So instead we are only going to be doing three more princesses today finishing out my like top five favorite princesses and then tomorrow we will be doing all the rest of the princesses so stick around for that. Today we are finishing up my top five princesses with Belle, Tiana, and Moana. Let's get going. I'm not going to go into exactly why I have them ranked in a certain way. If you guys want a video like that let me know in the comments down below. Below. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep referencing them in the order that I have them in and you'll just have to deal with it. But we are going to start with Belle and we've gotten a lot more Beauty and the Beast Funko Pops since then. Let's get to it. So my Belle section, uh, Beauty and the Beast section is right here. As you can see, it's a little bare. We only have these three guys right here. There's usually like a lot more going on here. So let's go into it. One that I absolutely had to have. One of my favorite Funkos that I have, especially because I have all 12 of the official Disney princesses in Funko form of some kind at this point. I also want to go on to get a lot of a different princes, especially my favorite princes in Funko form, and so this was one of the ones that I had to have, and that is the Beast. I absolutely love the Beast, and I especially love this one of the Beast with the birds. I just think this is such a cute scene where he is starting to be a little bit more vulnerable and not as menacing, and so his personality is already starting to change, and this is such a cool Funko Pop. So he has a little bird there, and he has a little bird up here. He's got his cape on him, and just like the way they did his claw and his face just looks so good and I do have a six inch Funko Pop right up back there and this guy is almost as big as that one. He's a huge standard Funko Pop. If you put him in the box he's like dominating the entire box so really really cool and I'm so happy that I have this but I also have Belle in her winter outfit with a bird so they had an older one where she's in a little bit different of a pose to go with beast with the birds so it'd be Belle with the birds and beast with the birds but I got this one instead because she was also cheaper because this was part of the 30th anniversary collection that they came out with so she's a little bit cheaper as well as I kind of like her pose a little bit better here. So she's still in her winter costume, which is I think one of my favorite Belle outfits that she's in. I love that hood. I would love a hood like this, like for myself. Anyway, but she's also, she hold, is holding up her little dress here, which is really cute. And she has some bird seed actually in her dress right there. And she has the little bird right there. So it's really, really cute. I think in the other one, she's just holding the bird and she's not doing that thing with her dress, but I think it's a cute little added thing and it just shows a little bit more about Belle's character of how sweet and kind and caring she is. Another Belle Funko Pop that I got, this was actually a gift from my sister Mason, so she got me this one. I did not know this one had come out and I didn't really want another Belle Funko Pop in this dress, but then I got this and I'm, I'm pretty okay with it because I absolutely love Belle reading. Belle reading anything, any Funko Pop of somebody reading, I'm actually a really big fan of. I really want like an entire like library bookshelf of my different books as well as Funko's reading. I think that'd be really cool. But she's really really cool and this is the Diamond Edition 1. I believe at the time that it came out the Diamond Edition was actually the cheaper option and I'm okay with it because it's really glittery and really really pretty. Look at how glittery and sparkly her hair is. I love that. But she's just absolutely gorgeous and I love the way she's sitting down with the books. I think it's just it's perfect. And then another 30th anniversary Funko Pop that I got that came out this past year, which I'm very happy that I got, is the Gaston Funko Pop. So this is the second Gaston Funko Pop to ever come out. The other one I also really, really, really wanted, but he was going to be really hard to find for a decent-ish price. So I never got around to getting him, and I'm okay with that because I actually like this one a little bit more because I like his little suit a lot better instead of just the red top and 
the gray pants. It's his like proposal outfit instead. And his hair is all done up with the little bow and everything. So I kind of like this one a little bit better as well as his expression is a lot more like debonair and charming in that way. And that's one of the things I actually really like about Gaston's character. I don't like Gaston. Like I'm not saying I like Gaston, but as a villain, I appreciate him. And that's one of the reasons why I appreciate him is because of his debonair-ish. I, I go into all of this in a video that I'll link up above of my favorite villains. So then we have some dorables. So there are actually quite a few different dorables that I do want for Beauty and the Beast, specifically a lot of the just household items I would love to have in dorable form because I don't want to have them in Funko Pop form, more expensive, also takes up a lot more room and I think they'd be cute as like actual smaller pieces in addition to the bigger Funko Pops because then it kind of like looks like a size difference thing. I really like doing that with a lot of my different Funko Pops is I'll get some of the characters in the smaller form when it makes sense. Like I have a Ralph Funko with a tiny little Fix It Felix Dorable because of the size difference. I think it's cute. But I do have a Beast Dorable. I got him just like in a mystery box and he was just really really cute and he's in a different costume than the Funko that I have. He's in his like ball gown one and I really really like him anyway and the Beast is really cute and he's like one of my favorite princes. So I'll keep him. Then we have have another character that I'm not gonna ever probably get in a Funko form. I don't think he exists anyway, but it's Maurice and just look at how cute he is in his little inventor uniform and we gotta love a good Disney dad so I, I love that. But right now I only have two of the household items. I'd love to get Mrs. Potts and Chip and Lumiere, but right now I only have these two. So I have Fifi, Feather Duster, I call her Bebette because that's what she is called in the musical version, but apparently she's Fifi in the Disney version. I don't know, but she's really, really cute. Look at her. And then another one that I have is Cogsworth, and he just looks so stinking cute. I love Cogsworth. I forgot so to I show this little guy off. So this is just a Lumiere adorable that I also have. He's very, very cute. So I just want to make sure I showed him off as well. Just looking for Mrs. Potts and Chip now to go with them so I can have like a complete set of all of the little household characters. So that's all the Beauty and the Beast stuff. Now let's get into just a few of the pins that I've also gotten and then we will go into our next princess. So here are my new Beauty and the Beast pins. I still do have a good little handful of Beauty and the Beast pins in addition to these, so it is a pretty standard little collection. So like I was saying, the 30th anniversary was this past year, so of course they came out with a lot of different Funkos as well as different pins. So this is one that I got when I was down there in Disney World. It is a limited edition, and look at just how pretty. So they came out with a lot of different ones of this where it's like the book open and we have some kind of scene here in the middle, and I liked this one the best because it is a book and they are reading a book in the scene. It makes sense. I really like it and I really love that scene of her teaching him how to read. So I really like this one of the little stained glass rose. I think it's really pretty that they actually have like it kind of stained glassy and it's kind of dipped in. I hate that for other pins but this one makes sense because it's actually stained glass. That's what it's trying to emulate. And I got this after seeing the Beauty and the Beast show in Hollywood Studios the first time since working down at Disney, so I really liked that. I have this little Gaston cutie. He's really cute. I have a few different cuties from this World of Evil mystery set. Gaston was one of the ones that I really really wanted, so I'm really happy I finally have him. We have the Beast Castle down here from the Hot Topic mystery box of all the different castles, and I have all of them, so this is complete. So you will see this come up quite a few times. Then we have this little portrait bell. You'll see this also quite a few times because I have them for all of my top five favorite princesses as well as a couple others that I just thought looked really cool. So of course we have to have Belle and I love the little glitter in the background and her hair just flowing off. This is I think the only time that her hair looks just like so luscious in something. Usually it's very like demure, very modest, but I really like that they kind of went all out for it. And then we have this one. So this came from another mystery pack for the 30th anniversary. It was like different stained glass windows and everything and so they all come in this like rose gold kind of shape and some stained glass elements in the back and different things in the center. So I really wanted the one of the castle just because I really like the castle. I like castles guys but I also really wanted this one and I'm happy I have this one. It is of Gaston and Belle so Belle reading and Gaston just being 
pompous. I like to have a few little bits of Gaston represented, kind of. And I thought this was a really cool one because it's a scene you don't see a lot depicted. So those are all of my Beauty and the Beast things. So now we are going to go on to my next favorite princess, which is Princess Tiana from Princess and the Frog. For Princess Tiana, we have quite a lot of other figurines. So this is very much like the Little Mermaid one where we had just a lot of different figurines. I think Princess and the Frog for Tiana, she was kind of like put in the back burner for a while. And I think now she's actually finally getting her time, especially with the whole retheming of Splash Mountain. So she's gotten a lot more popularity and Disney's kind of picking up on that and kind of pushing her a lot more and stuff, which I'm a total fan of. One of the things being this little Funko Pop we got here. So this was from the Ultimate Disney Princess Collection Funko Pop series that they came out with this past year. And I absolutely loved it. I have so many of them. So it's just them in different kind of styles or poses on different kind of platforms. I loved it this one. I have another Princess Tiana Funko Pop that I would like of her in her green dress with the little buddy of Naveen. It's kind of hard to get and it is a lot more expensive than the standard Funko Pop and I don't want the one that's glittery. I don't want it. I know it's cheaper. I don't want the glitter. I'm really happy to have this one so it's in her little like ending outfit which I love this ending outfit. It's very 1920 style so I love that but she's holding her gumbo pot from her dad and it has a little bow on it. I love her little crown here and the way they did her hair like so cute but also on the chair back here we have Naveen's little ukulele as well as the little sign that says Tiana's place and it's kind of like a little framed picture so I really really like that so I love this little thing I do think this bottom piece here is a little plain some of the other ones as I'll show you are a lot more intricate and show a little bit more so I think this one's just a little bit plain on the base but they really put in a lot of effort everywhere else so I really really love it another Funko Pop that I've gotten for Princess and the Frog is this one of Dr. Facilier. He is another one of my favorite villains. Oh my goodness, this pop is amazing. So they've come out with a quite a few different Dr. Facilier Funko Pops. This one is my favorite and I'm so glad I waited out to get this one because it's perfect. Oh my goodness. So this is from the ultimate like Disney villains collection series uh, where they're all on different pedestals as well. And it took a while for these to come out and I'm so glad that I was still able to get one when they did. So look at him. Oh my gosh, I love that they did his cheekbones. They have his gap. His hat looks amazing and just large. They have a little necklace there but then even on the bottom we have some voodoo scribblings as well as a skull and some candles and a book back here and the skull even is like a Funko skull. Like it's not like a normal skull they made it a Funko shaped skull so I just think the detail is just really really cool and really fun. Absolutely love this guy. He's awesome. Now into some figures. So I also have some Princess comic figures for Princess and the Frog. I think I either got them from Louisa or Fran. I can't remember now. They are so heckin' cute. I have one of Naveen and Tiana, of course, and they're in these snazzy little outfits, which I love. I love them as the frogs. That's what they are for most of the movie, but I love them more as humans because representation first of all, but just look at how cute they are. You don't really see her in this outfit. It's only in her like dream sequence for almost there, but I love her in this little outfit with the boa and the little feather in her hair. And I love Naveen's outfit right here and how he's just like, they just look so cute together. I love them. But another princess comic figure that I got to go with them is probably my favorite character from Princess and the Frog is Lottie. I love this woman so much. So her dress is like a little bit of that translucent look and they did that for a few from this particular series of the princess comics but I don't really mind it here because you can't like see through her dress. It's just kind of fluffy and she just looks so heckin cute and I love her. I would love to dress up as her for Halloween one year just so I can wear this kind of dress. I think that would be so much fun. I'll link a video about her up above. And then we also have some adorables of course. <laughs> so we have quite a lot of Princess and the Frog adorables. So I'll start with my frogs here. So we have a Prince Naveen frog here. He's very much the darker one. And then we have the Tiana frog. So very much the lighter color. So they even did that very well, I think, for them. And they got their faces pretty right. Then we also have Lewis here. So he's really, really cute. He's got his little trumpet. He just looks adorable. And then I also have this little Prince Naveen. So he's in like his ending, very princely outfit. I like how his hair tendrils look really, really cute because they don't have a Funko of him yet. So 
We'll see. And then this was from the Let's Go series as well. So it's Tiana kind of going to like the pool or the beach or something. So she's got a little flower in her hair and this is actually a little floaty, like a little inflatable tube. And it's a frog because that's just so cute. And then another adorable I got is a Vladi. I was so happy to get this. I was so, so excited, but it's so cute. I love her in this dress. And look at how just like Ba-boom, they made her dress at the back. That's not her butt, that's just how big her dress looks. Another thing that I've gotten for Princess Tiana is this apron here. I got this from the Food and Wine Festival for this past year, 2022. And it's very subtle in how it's Tiana. Um, I guess kind of the color and there are fleur-de-lis everything and there's some cooking utensils in this pocket, but it's very subtle and you probably wouldn't think that it's Tiana, but it is, that's how it was marketed. Um, and I still really, really love it. It's really cute. And it's falling off the hanger <laughs> but it has even ruffles like all the way down to the bottom which is really cute and then we'll also get into some new pins that i've gotten for princess and the frog i'll start with this one it is my epcot food and wine festival pin from 2021 so from last year and look at how beautiful it is so we have the epcot ball here in the back there is a whole series of these different ones i only got two of them from the series and they all have the epcot ball on the back and then the characters on the front here as pin on pin so we have none Naveen and Tiana here having some minced food, which I absolutely love. It has the date like super tiny right there and then the title of it, but I like that it's small on it and it's not like super big and half of the pin. Some other pins that I've gotten are here. So let's show those off. So we have another princess portrait here of Tiana. I love the purple background here. She's just looking really cute and sassy. And we have this one from the BU series and I loved a lot of these different ones. So I have quite a few different ones of these that you'll see throughout the month. But this one is Be Ambitious Like Princess Tiana. She's got her beignets. She's looking really, really cute. And I love her in these other outfits. I love like all of Tiana's outfits. They are awesome. And then we have Naveen here with some flowers. This was from a box lunch mystery set of sidekicks. Naveen is not a sidekick. I was real upset that they put him in a sidekick box, but he's not a sidekick. But I really like the pin anyway, so I got it anyway. Then this is from my other completed box lunch set of the different sidekicks with the books. And again, Naveen is on the sidekick pin whatever but we also have Lewis and we have Ray here really really small and it's really really cute and at the bottom it says just one kiss very cute I love this series and then we have this cool fantasy pin I got from Disney Mertz and it is a Dr. Facilier carousel horse like all really really cool so this is a fantasy pin it's really really cool and I still really love it I think it's super detailed. That's all of the Princess and the Frog stuff for Tiana. Now on to my last princess in my top five before we end this video and you have to watch tomorrow's video to see all the rest of my princess stuff. We are going to do Moana. So my Moana collection isn't super big. There are plenty of Moana merchandise things that I can get, but I feel like a lot of the merchandise for Moana is very much catered towards like elementary schoolers and little kids and I don't really need things that just are like a bath towel that has Moana on it. I, I want other stuff but I am really happy with what I have in my small little Moana collection. These two Funkos that I've gotten specifically are like my favorite things that I've gotten in my Moana collection. They are Heika. <sighs> She's beautiful. So I do have a Moana Funko as well with a little Pua buddy. I don't want a Maui Funko. I don't really like Maui that much, but I love Teka and she just looks awesome as this Funko. Look at all the smoke billowing up. I think it's like one of the cooler dynamic Funkos that they have made. They even have the swirl on her chest here and all the breaking up in her face. Oh, it is like one of the coolest Funkos that I've ever seen. And I'm so happy that it's in my collection. I was very excited when I saw that. I bought it secondhand for like way, way cheaper. So happy about it. Another one that I really wanted to go with that is Te Fiti, of course. And I have a Te Fiti, but it's a different one. This is the Earth Day special one that they came out with for this past year. And it's exactly the same as the other one that they originally came out with, but this one is flocked and I like it way more because I love, I'm, I'm a sucker for a flocked Funko. Um, but I also, when I was watching this with my friend Allison, when we watched it, we thought Te Fiti just looked really soft. So I like that they made her flocked because she does look soft, but she is just absolutely gorgeous. Just look at how cool and all the flowers on her. She just looks so cool and I love it so very much. So those are like my 
some of my favorite Funkos that I have. But then I also got this really, really cute Funko Mini of Moana in her shell outfit. So this is just so funny and so cute. I love her grumpy little face and I love the little shell costume because this is such a small part of the movie, but it's so funny looking. And I just, I think it's really, really cute with her and the little drum here. I like it because it shows a little bit more of Moana's sass. Like she's very brave and kind and just amazing as a character and a role model, but she's also a little sassy and I love this for that. Another thing that I got is I did get this little Moana like mini backpack thing that had a bunch of little special items in it but most of that is going to be going to my nieces. One thing that I did keep was some stickers because they still aren't great at knowing how to use stickers as well as a pen. Probably not best to give a pen to little ones. It's this cute little Kakamora pen. Isn't it adorable? Oh I love it and I think the writing is actually like purple ink. Yeah. It's purple ink, which is really, really cute. Look how tiny it is. I'm obsessed with it. I also have this little Hey Hey adorable that I got. So it's little Hey Hey. He looks really, really cute. His little teeny tiny beak and his giant, giant eyes on the sides. Very cute. And then we, of course, have some pins. So I told you the Moana section is pretty short and my Moana pin collection is also very small. It's only five pins total and I've only gotten three new ones so here are my Moana pins so we again have another portrait one of course she looks gorgeous and beautiful the blue background and they all have a symbol up in the corner so of course hers is the heart of Tefiti and then we have this one another box lunch one so you probably saw a similar one in my Little Mermaid video but this one is of Pua and Hey Hey in a little terrarium so I like these terrarium ones because they're flat the ones from Disney are 3D and that just seems hard to store and then we have this little Moana Moana cutie. So this is actually a fantasy pin. Uh, Disney did not come out with a Moana cutie in this style, but it is in the same style as the other cutie pins. They just made it uh, themselves from a little fantasy shop. So I got this from Fran and I just think she looks really, really cute. And that is everything for this part one of the Princess Collection update video. So make sure that you push that little notification bell so you know when I upload next, so you know to finish all the rest of the princesses because there's a lot more that we have to go through. It's a little bit shorter for all the rest of the princesses. I think I've only gotten like a few things for each of them. Let me know down below in the comments, who are your top five favorite Disney princesses? You know mine, it's Rapunzel, Ariel, Belle, Tiana, and Moana, but who are in your top five? I'm not saying that I don't like all the rest. I absolutely do. I love every single princess so very, very much, but they just didn't all make the top five because they can't. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and until next time, farewell.